Deadly highway accident, now a tragedy for the tri-state community. We learned just hours ago the man who was struck and killed also was the founder of the Rubber Duck Regatta, an event that helps feed thousands of children. But the question tonight, why did he walk onto a busy interstate highway? It's what friends and family of the Rubber Duck Regatta and his family want to know tonight. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has been digging into that issue all day. He's live with what he found. Tom. Well, Bob Edwards was devoted to the Free Store Food Bank and that rubber duck regatta that helped get money for it. But investigators say some, for some reason he walked onto busy I-71 this morning in Silverton and was struck and killed. His wife and close friends tell me tonight, though, there's no way this was an intentional act, that something else must have happened. The death of 80-year-old Bob Edwards was especially hard for Jim Farley to take. It is terrible news. Uh, Bob Edwards was a pillar of strength within our community. Of so many positive things that he did. Farley and Edwards were friends for over 40 years. They and their wives often went out to dinner together. You know, when you, you know, you lose one of your best friends, that doesn't happen every day. And and he and a lot of people can say they were one of Bob uh, Bob's best friends or Bob was one of their best friends. Edwards' day began at First Watch in Kenwood with a rubber duck regatta meeting. He was scheduled to be at the Norwood Courtyard Hotel for a 10 o'clock meeting. As he headed there on southbound I-71, for some reason he pulled his maroon sedan to the shoulder near the Red Bank Road exit. Shandra Mohan was driving alongside a cement truck when the accident occurred. And I'm in the middle line, and uh, the cement truck on the right side, and suddenly I saw a person coming on the, crossing the highway. I thought I maybe asking help, something like that, but it's, it's not like that, look like. The cement truck hit Edwards and he died instantly. But we can't accept the fact that he walked out into the traffic intentionally, Tom. Jim Farley talked with Edwards just yesterday and said everything was fine. Whether or not he was confused, disoriented, had a mini stroke, uh, had some angina or pain or something, but we don't know. But we know Bob Edwards well enough that to know that something has uh, distracted him to the point that he walked out into the traffic unknowingly, I believe. Now, Edwards' wife, Sylvia, did not want to go on camera, but she told me she's in a state of shock right now. And she defiantly insisted that it was not an intentional act. And she's for, asked for an autopsy just to prove it. Well, coming up new at 6, the Free Store Food Bank leaders react to the loss of one of their biggest supporters. Yeah. Tom McKee, on your side, live in the Over the Rhine. Tom, thanks so much. A few numbers to help show Edward's impact in our community. All those little rubber duckies you see there raise more than half a million dollars every year to feed hungry families. That translates to more than 20 million meals over 20 years. Money from the regatta supported other programs as well, new at 6. How Edwards was always a voice for those in need and rallied the city's elite to help them.